Custom Crawlers Bruder D11 Dozer Conversion featuring aluminum idlers and steel tracks. So if we turn on the remote, our power button on the unit, main power button, is just up on the passenger side of the cab. If we turn that on, you heard that beep. That beep was uh, just the sound unit powering up. So we've got two rotating beacons up on top, uh, the full LED light kit. So we've got two bright white LEDs on either side of the cab here. We've got two bright white LEDs on the actuator mounts up front. We've got a yellow LED on either side of the unit, uh, kind of a marker light. Towards the back of the unit, we've got four red LEDs, two on either side of the, of the cab. As you can see, they're they're pretty darn bright. Uh, if it was completely black out or dark, uh, you'd be able to see a good distance of red on the ground behind you and with the white up front, uh, the white shines out a good distance out in front of you as well. Now your Actuonics actuators that are up on the front um, are controlled by your left control stick here. So it is proportional, so depending on where you position it, it'll move to position or stop. Uh, I have it set, or it's set up right now, so where it's about, about halfway on the, the stick, just touches the ground. And then the, the actuators that I have on here are L16s. Uh, they're the higher torque models. Uh, even though the unit weighs almost 14 pounds the way it sits, uh, we can, uh, it'll easily lift the unit off the ground in the front end here. So the Actuonix actuator that's in the back on the ripper is also an L16 model. So on the remote here, this three-way switch is what controls your actuator on the ripper. So if we hit it to, it's got a middle position, we'll bring it down just a little bit above the surface of the ground. Um, so if you were on soft ground, that would probably be touching the ground. Um, and if we hit her down, we easily lift up the back end of the unit off the ground. Uh, if you were in the softer ground, sand, softer dirt, something like that, it would uh, rip down into the ground. Now your rotating beacons up on the roof are controlled by your remote. So if we take a peek here, this switch on the front left side of the remote controls your beacons. So as soon as you flip on the power, uh, the beacons will come on and start rotating around. Uh, they've got a few different settings. So if you flip that switch back and forth, they will cycle through their settings. And all the way back to off. This D11 Bruder build is also featuring a sound unit. So the sound unit in this one as well is a Sense Innovations ESS Dual. Now to operate your sound unit, uh, all you have to do is simply, simply tap forward on the stick. And the unit starts up. Now if we give her throttle forward or backward, The 
engine sounds raise and lower. And there's a slight delay in uh, in when it the sounds pick up, but it's not too bad. Now with the sound unit, here let's flip these lights off so that we can uh, so we can see a little better. So inside of the cab here, it's probably a little hard to see, uh, but there is a switch there you go you can see it right here that switch controls your lights and your sound unit so if we shut that off all of our led lights are no longer powered on the unit your rotating beacons can still be turned on and cycled through from the remote so the sound unit has volume control on it I've got the volume control rather low, actually. I think it's only set at like a set point two, and there's ten set points. Um, but with the dual speaker on this sound unit, it is pretty loud. But if you want to change the volume on your sound unit for any reason, I have incorporated in here, if we pull this cap off here. So now this is going to be a little more difficult to to see in here try to get that light shined in there okay so if we get up you can see the sound unit in there and there is a plus and a minus on the sound unit so that's going to control your volume turn it up and down so that cover that we removed to get access to the sound unit just clips back into place here if we put the vol or line up the bottom Then it clips right back into place. So this dozer has a LiPo battery pack inside of it. Uh, you do not have access to get to the short, like the balance wiring on the battery pack, unfortunately. Um, when the unit goes dead, uh, in order to charge it, the charging cable is inside of the cab here. So here's your charging cable. It is a, a Dean's plug. So uh, this unit, with the sound unit that's in there, it also has a horn. So the horn on your unit, if you tap to the right on the blade stick, that controls your horn on your unit. Now I've got it set up so that you've got to go a decent throw to the side to get it to actuate. That's so that if you're driving along and you're operating your blade up and down while you're digging around through the dirt and pushing dirt, that you might not, you won't accidentally uh, trigger the horn to sound. So you got to send that to the side quite a good distance to get that to uh, operate your horn. Now the actuators on here are strong enough that you could lift the unit completely off the ground. Now, I wouldn't recommend, that's a good distance off the ground, three quarters of an inch. Um, that'll just let you know actually that you could uh, dig down, you know, a good three quarters of an inch below the level of the unit itself because of the weight on it we don't want to leave it uh, supporting its own weight uh, the actuators are pretty strong but we don't want to overstress them thanks for watching this was a custom crawlers brooder d11 conversion for narish to get yours head over to www.customcrawlers.com